The reason we're here today then, we're announcing two brand new signings, obviously Abdullah Baggy and Joe Tomlinson. Um, you must be really happy getting those two in early. Yeah, it's 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 weird because um, obviously with everything that's gone on, um, the recruitment process has been quite hard. You know, I wanted to get out to the second half of the season and the latter part of the season to watch games, but um, both with Bags and with Joe, and you'll see in the coming weeks, hopefully a few others as well, that um, we got a chance to watch these boys. Um, Bags, being honest, we went to watch a different lad playing for Weymouth not last season, the year before, um, and he stood out when we watched him then. When we went and watched him again this season, he stood out as well. He's you know, a real attacking threat, um, carries the ball really well, gives us another option in that final third. Over the last couple of years, we've not really had um, an attacking player that plays from the left or maybe in a hole like the Yates he did for us. Um, so, yeah, re- really pleased to get him over the line. You know, I think it's helped uh, in location of where we are because there's been a lot of interest in him. Mm. And um, He had a real good season for Weymouth last year. You know, he got um, 12 goals, I think it was, and 10 assists. You know, and that's things that we want to add to the football team this year. You spoke about um, bags there, so Joe's got a lot of attacking quality as well as being a defender. Is that something that caught your eye when you had a look at him? Yeah, it's. I think, um, no, I spoke to Joe as well, I've met him and his dad uh, over the last couple of weeks. I think um, his quality on the ball is, is there for really evident to see and, he, and he's an attack-minded fullback. but we're going to try and help him with his defensive side of the game as well. Um, I felt that with stuff that's happened with Green in the last couple of years, you know, in terms of a few of the injuries had and stuff, especially last season, you know, we we missed Greener for so much a big mm. part of the season. It was important that we start looking at um, if Green is not going to be available, can they both play in the same team? Because he can play left back, left wing back, left midfield if I need him to. But he also he's right footed as well, so he can play on the right hand side. So he gives them um, gives a cover in a lot of positions. He's a, another young lad that in the National South last year stood out. A lot of people mm. talk, spoke about him. Um, his manager gave him a glowing reference to me as well when I spoke to him um, a couple of months ago now. And um, it's just another young, exciting, you know, I would say he's local, he's still a little bit away, but he's another mm-hmm. local lad and, and, and hopefully someone that the, the crowd are going to take to. And um, I want Greener to be injury free next season. It's going to be a big thing for us. You know, we missed him, you know, I think it was five, six months we was out without him last year. But um couldn't have another situation this year where I was playing, you know, Cav at left back or a right back playing at left back mm. and stuff like that. It was really mix and match at times in our full back area. So um it's making sure we've got um players that can do um a job in a few different positions and Joe does that be you know, being able to play left back, left wing back on the right if we need him and Bags does as well. Bags can play anywhere across the attacking area. So these boys are coming in and adaptable to whatever team we play or formation we play.